have look what I got from Orange Pi. These are two computers. This is Orange Pi RV2 single board computer, which is very interesting because it's built on RISC 5 64 bit technology instead of RM 64 bit uh, technology. So if you take a look at it, it comes in the same plastic box as Orange Pi 5 Max. It's got KYX1 system on chip, which is very capable. It's got eight equal cores, uh, processing cores. It's got a graphics cores and it's got a video core with a number of coders and decoders. So a very popular video protocols are supported in hardware. Video graphics uh, also supports OpenGL acceleration and Vulkan acceleration, so libraries and acceleration. And it also supports uh, two tera operations per second. Uh, these are meant for AI, so you can do 8-bit AI operations, uh, which is quite a good thing to, uh, that it's all packed into this uh, little system on chip because you don't need an additional model like on a Raspberry Pi 5 uh, but it's true that Raspberry Pi 5 if uh, equipped with Hilo 8 module can do uh, 26 tera uh, operations per second which is much faster but anyway uh, here you have this functionality inbuilt like on Orange Pi 5 Max which has 6 tera operations per second AI unit inbuilt so uh, talking about the video, we have two video inputs for digital cameras. Uh, these are full MIPI inputs. And we have another output for a digital display. These are also MIPI uh, DSP. Uh, the, uh, yeah. uh, output, DSI output. So, what is here? It's a little antenna. It's already attached. You can detach it if you don't need it, but you can also reattach it. It's got this little connector. This is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. These are both uh, fine panel, power management module, and HDMI output. Unfortunately, this uh, only supports 1K resolution. Uh, you can use it with a classics uh, monitor, uh, and the maximum frequency is 60 hertz. Uh, so, uh, looking from this side, we can also see two Ethernet ports. These are both 1 gigabit uh, per second, and we have USB 3.0 uh, ports here, the blue ones, and the white one is USB 2.0, which can also, uh, which also supports uh, support OTG and can be used uh, to program the device uh, if you want to do so. Here you have a boot button. Uh, so what you can do is actually to plug a special kind of adapter. This is mail to mail USB adapter. And you plug it into your PC and then before you connect the power here, this is USB-C connector, used just for powering. It, it's not PD capable, so you can sit here. Uh, before you plug it, you just hold down this button. Then you plug it in and this port is going to work as an device port. So you can program this from a PC with uh, a special software provided which uh, also uses Android drivers. So it's the same procedure as on a Android phone. Here we have M.2 uh, connector, uh, MK. Uh, this is one is used for a small sized SD, SSD drive or another uh, card with this kind of interface uh, and uh, uh, regarding the size of card is uh, 2230 uh, from the bottom side we can see another mi uh, m.2 connector and uh, it's for a larger size it's 2280 ssd drive these are more common nowadays and we have here two connectors for connecting a orange pi uh, emc module uh, you could just plug it in and uh, it works like on Orange Pi 5 Max. Uh, yeah, we have SD card slot 
very easy so you can pre-program this cart and then you just slide it in and it works but uh, of course it's not the only storage you see that I have three more at least possible storages here we have audio check this one is input or output you can use it uh, as an input or as an output uh, it's a 3.5 millimeter standard one power on button here so it, it works uh, like uh, a power on button on Raspberry Pi uh, 5 and here is a battery connector so you can uh, power your real-time clock when the computer is disconnected like uh, it is now and we have six, uh, 26 uh, pin expansion port this one is, connect is uh, compatible with Raspberry Pi uh, A and A plus uh, which also have this kind of uh, port uh, it supports various protocols like SPI, E2C and so on. So uh, uh, these are hardware support like, on a, uh, like if you are using a microcontroller. So uh, different sensors can be directly plugged in uh, if uh, you have uh, appropriate cables. Let's take a look to another computer. This one is R2S. It's also very interesting. Uh, this one is purposely built. Uh, to enable you to build an open um, source router so uh, you've got two one gigabit per second Ethernet ports and another two 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet ports uh, with respect to controllers 2.5 gigabit Ethernet controllers and here 2.5 gigabit Ethernet controllers otherwise this computer is built on the same system on chip as RV2 it's a KYX1 system on chip with the same capabilities so it also has got an inbuilt uh, graphics processing unit and video processing unit unfortunately there is no video output like this one or uh, this one uh, so this one here so it's not implemented so what you can actually do this is a purposely built device uh, you can use it as a processing computer, so you can still do AI if you want to, to their operations per second. And you can of course share AI capabilities to, to many other computers on the network if they need it. Here we have a debug port, the same as on RV2. We also have two USB ports, this is 3.0 and 2.0. 2.0 port is OTG capable, so if you have a special cable, mail to mail, uh, you just plug it in and you plug it into your computer and uh, you can program this uh, device. It's a, a very nice uh, computer, uh, a lot of options. Here are the Ethernet controllers, one, two, and three, four. So, aha, okay, this is also important. This is a pre programmed. ENC memory chip uh, so you don't have to program this computer if you want to use the pre-programmed operating system it's uh, Linux and then you just plug in uh, the power and it's gonna start right away if you want to see which kind of IP address it does have uh, you just have to provide a DHS uh, CP uh, server and you're gonna read the address from the server alternatively if you connect a debugging device you can also read the address from here so uh, you can use uh, this kind of computer for debugging device so you have to connect certain pins to certain pins here so you have R, R, rx and ax uh, pins and if you connect them uh, crisscross like this uh, actually and the ground pin this is the third one. Uh, it's very easy to use uh, RP, RV2 computer for monitoring what's going on on this uh, R2S computer. So you can combine those two computers to, to actually program this computer. So very, very interesting. Uh, and of course, uh, you can also use a classic PC with uh, USB interface. Let's see how it runs. I'm gonna connect the monitor. So it goes like this. 
it's uh, the other way around. So, and uh, I'm going to connect a mouse. This is okay. And then I'm going to connect the SD card, it's already in. And now I'm going to connect the power. So, this is this is it. So it's gonna run. Now maybe better put it in the box. And let's start it. Here we go. The lights run. So let's wait for the green light to start blinking. Something is happening on the screen. Here it is. Initializing boot. And as you can see, it's blinking. And the program is running. So you can see all the commands that are being performed to start the operating system. So you can see it's, it's really booting for the first time is interesting because it takes a little bit more time. We can take a look at this antenna. This is the same antenna as on Orange Pi 5 Max. It's also connected here. You can disconnect it if you don't need it. But there is no option to stick it somewhere to, to simply hold it. And so the only option is to, to actually mount it on the case. Now you can see it's up. It's working. It's real nice. So you can, you can press here and you get a whole menu of all the applications that are already installed on this version of operating system. You see that you also have a VLC media player, which is very popular. You can watch TV, you can do many things without installing any other software. So you can also add packages. This is here. This is you can press here and then you can see that there are quite a lot of packages that can be installed. There is also an option to run RV2 and R2S computers with this adapter. So you can have any kind of adapter. You have uh, USB 2.0 like this one or USB 3.0 adapter. You just slide your system card in and then you can run the computer from a USB port like this. So you enter USB port and if there is in this case no SD card inserted here into SD card slot, the computer would boot from this USB device. So here from USB 3.0 port or the other one. So it's going to boot. The same goes for this computer, which is uh, of course very similar. If you stick your bootable drive here. The only thing that you might not like is because there are just two USB ports. You would not be able to connect a keyboard and the mouse. But uh, of course the point is that uh, in this case you're going to need a USB hub, so then uh, there will be enough ports. It's not meant for such kind of use, but uh, sometimes it's even good enough to have a mouse connected or if you exchange mouse and keyboard. So you, you can still get it running and then uh, you don't need either of them uh, for daily use. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, press like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next video. Bye.